In this clip, we're going to be talking about the user interface or UI. In these newer versions, we have this start window with a few options like new project, open project, create new, we can close it. If we create a new or close it, we get the same option. For now, let's just go ahead and create a new. After Effects, like uh, most softwares out there, gives us a pretty basic menu system, which is located on the top left corner. And here we have file, edit, composition, and a few others. And you'll see that most of these are not available, but they'll start becoming available once we start working with the software. Below our menu system, we have what are known as windows or panels. You can see that the panel becomes active. Once we left click on it, we get this light blue uh, glow around the edge of the panel. So once we click on it, uh, it becomes active. Um, also, in between the panels, we have this darker gray area, and if we hover over it, you'll see that our cursor becomes a double-sided arrow. If we left-click and drag, you can see that we can change the size of our panels. We can make them bigger, <clears throat> taller, and whatnot. Not only we can make uh, our panels bigger or smaller, but we can position them in any way we want. Uh, we can do that by grabbing the panel by its name or by the edge, by the top edge and we can start dragging around our screen. And once we start dragging around our screen, you can see that a few areas start to get highlighted. So let's, let me, while I'm already here, let me try to explain something. You'll see that if I hover over this area, we have a few different options, but you can see that there's like a middle one, a top one, another top one, okay. If we go over here, we have another section. And here's the third one. But this is only one. So in here, for some reason, it seems like this is one entire section, right? Well, that's because that's a panel group. And here's another panel group. And here's another panel group. Oops. And here's another panel group. What do I mean? If I drop this inside here, you'll see that this panel is still one. We still have one, but it takes that size. So this is my projects panel. If I drop it on the left side again, you can see that it takes the, the original size. If I drop it on this side, it becomes smaller. If I take it over and I drop it over here, it stacks with, uh, with this panel stack. That's what, that's what it, this is called. Each panel group has its own panel settings. Uh, it can become a panel group or a panel stack. What's the difference between a panel group and a panel stack? Uh, on the right side, we have a panel stack of all these different panels. And in here, we have panel groups. Uh, let's go ahead and open and drag this projects panel inside of this panel group. So this is a panel group. Uh, we can jump from one panel to another inside of the same size, uh, window size, basically. So the difference between uh, this panel group and this panel stack is just the way they're arranged. Well, on the left side we have, they start to become arranged uh, from the left to the right. And on the right side, once we click on that panel, it expands. It doesn't expand completely as you can see unless you unless you manually expand it and then and then it holds that position uh, but that's the difference between a panel stack and a panel group the just the way they're arranged you can see that okay uh, for now I'm going to set this up back the way it was these are just some of the panels available there's also some other panels that uh, are available and we can access them by going to window. And here we have all these windows or all the panels that are available. For example, right now we don't have the brushes and you can see that if we left click here on the brushes, we will open it and it also has a uh, shortcut, which is control nine. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And our brushes panel opens uh, on this panel group or panel stack. And I'm, if I wanted to, I can just position it on the right here. 
and I can start using this. So that's opening a, a panel. Now, if I wanted to close this, we can also access a panel menu by right clicking on it. And you can see that we have a few options here. So I'm, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close the panel for now. And you see that the panel is gone. So if I go wanted to open it again, we said that the shortcut was control nine. So if I wanted to reopen it again, you'll see that it reopens and it'll stay on the same uh, position. So if I move it in over here, and then again, I close it, and then I wanted to bring it back, control nine, it comes back. So now that we know how to open and close a panel, uh, you can see that we have other options here other than the panel group settings. But uh, this is an interesting one. Uh, the in-dock panel opens a new window of its own. And uh, this is very useful if you're working with multiple monitors. The difference between a panel undocked is that it will always stay on top of the other panels. So if I wanted to access this, I would have to move this window around. Again, if you're working with multiple monitors, you can position this in a different monitor, uh, and that's very useful. But at this point, well, you know, with one monitor is not really useful. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this back here. So once you start moving the panels around, you probably will find a workspace that fits uh, all your needs that if you're doing paints or if you're just tracking or if you're just doing a bunch of texts or whatever the case is, you probably find this yourself that you want to have this window over here. And maybe you just need a, a very small viewer and you need your timeline to be a lot bigger. Who knows, uh, whatever you like. You can change this around however you want. And once you find something that you're comfortable with, you can save that workspace or layout. Uh, and you can do that by going to Window, uh, Workspace, and Save as New Workspace, or Save Changes to this workspace, because you can see that we are now in default. There's a few other workspaces that are uh, already available and we'll look into that right now. But for now, let's just say that we wanna save this workspace. So I wanna go ahead and save it as new workspace and I wanna title this uh, tutorial and I'm gonna hit okay. You can see that now here we have some uh, a little icon with the tutorial, a new menu. And these are other workspaces that like we mentioned earlier, and this is the default one, which is also the tutorial one. So the default one will stay like this. And if I go to window, workspace, reset default to saved layout, it will take it to the original uh, one. If, uh, if you accidentally save a workspace and you don't want it or you just want to delete it, you can go to edit workspaces and then here you'll find the workspace that you don't want and you just hit delete, hit okay, and now it's gone. So After Effects gives you these all these options basically so you can find uh, a workspace that is good for you, that you like, a workspace that you feel comfortable with, a workspace that uh, you can do your uh, tasks faster if you want to. If you're doing something uh, very repetitively, so you might wanna have your workspace uh, available. And not only that, I think that um, the fact that you can control your workspace gives us uh, pretty much uh, an idea of uh, control and more confidence over the software and how to use it. So hopefully you can move it around and start getting used to this. And I'll see you guys in the next clip.